welcome to Trust News Summary. I am Ayuba Ilya. Thank you for joining. Here is the news in brief. Troops of the 195 Battalion Operation Hat in K have arrested seven Boko Haram logistics suppliers and kidnappers on the outskirts of Meiduguri, the Borno State capital. According to reports, the suspects were arrested along the Meiduguri Mafa axis on Tuesday. The Independent National Electoral Commission says it has not backdated documents to recognize Senate President Ahmad Lawan and former Akwaibom State Governor Godfrey Lakpabio as senatorial candidates. National Commissioner and Chairman, Information and Voter Education Committee of INEC, Festus Okoye, said on Tuesday in Abuja that the forms of the two were not published by the commission. A senior Ukrainian official has suggested a series of explosions at a Russian air base in Crimea could have been the work of partisan saboteurs as Kyiv denied any responsibility for the attack in the Russian-occupied territory that left at least one person dead and eight wounded. Russia's Ministry of Defense said that the detonation of several aviation ammunition stores had caused an explosion at the Saki Air Base on the west coast of the peninsula, which Russia annexed from Ukraine in 2014 and used in February as it began its invasion of the rest of the country. And in sports news, Serena Williams, a 23-time Grand Slam champion and iconic tennis superstar for a generation, said Tuesday that the countdown to her retirement has begun. The 40-year-old American wrote a cover essay for Vague magazine and an Instagram post in which she set the stage for evolving away from tennis. And that's a wrap on Trust News Summary. Watch more via all our social media platforms and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am Ayuba Ilya. Thank you for watching.